Hello friends, welcome back to automation testing .com. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to scroll up and down a page in Selenium WebDriver. Scroll up and down uh, as well as scroll left and right as well. Okay. So let's get started. So what is scrolling or scroll and scroll bar? Okay. So scroll bar is a vertical or horizontal bar that commonly located on the far right or bottom of window that allows you to move the window or that allows you to scroll to the right side uh, right and left and up and down left and right and up and down so let me just just to show you so this is my blog so here you can see the bottom of the page we have one scroll bar right so this is horizontal scroll bar so we can move towards the right side we can scroll towards the right side so that we can see the contents at the right side of the page why do we need this scrolling because suppose i want to see the right side of the page then we have to do we have to scroll to the right side okay and similarly we can scroll towards the left side as well and similarly we have this vertical scroll bar as well so using that we can perform up and down scrolling okay so that we can see the elements or uh, contains at the bottom of the page as well as at the top of the page so this is scrolling and scroll bar so why do we need uh, scrolling in selenium webdriver okay so in the most of the cases selenium webdriver does not require scroll to perform actions as it manipulates dom itself okay but in certain web pages elements only become visible once the user have scrolled to them so in such case such cases scrolling may be necessary okay so 90% we do not need a scrolling functionality but in certain cases we need we may need to perform these actions okay so how to perform scrolling using selenium web driver so to scroll using selenium you can use java script executor this is an interface that helps to execute javascript methods through through selenium web driver so i'll show you how to pass selenium web driver to this javascript javascript executor interface and using execute script how to perform how to call this execute script method and how to perform different actions different scrolling functionality so today we are going to see like how to scroll up and down by pixel how to scroll down by visibility of element and how to do scroll down by end of the page okay so my eclipse is already opened here so here i'll create new class so let's see first scroll up and down I'll just copy few lines of code to launch the browser and navigate to URL. Let's remove this maximize maximize uh, command. And I'll change the URL to this the home page URL of my blog and uh, now what we'll do we need javascript executor okay so how to do that uh, how to pass web driver to java execute script so let's do that script executor let's say variable name js and pass the web driver to this interface so we have to change to Once again, Java script. Yeah, and uh, we have imported this Java script executor, and uh, we have to. There is a there is an error, right? So we have to see that error. What is that error? Type miss Java script executor. So what we have to do? We have to do type cast. So add cast to java script executor so we can type cast like this 
and then we can use the method execute script this one okay and it takes two arguments one is javascript and another one is arguments so this is optional we have we can give this one only so what how to do that scroll up and down by pixel so we can simply we can copy paste this script and put it over here under double quotes and semicolon at the end okay so what it will do it will this is horizontal guys this thousand pixel size is the horizontal and this 4000 is the vertical size till that size uh, that pixel size it will scroll down scroll up and down and this is uh, horizontal okay so let's do that let's run this program browser is launched navigate it to url now it will scroll now you can see it it performs scrolling to the right side as well as uh, down as well now let's do one more exercise let's keep it as zero this horizontal one zero and let it be like 4000 the vertical one so the horizontal should not perform horizontal bar should not perform any scrolling and uh, vertical should be 4000 to the downside Four thousand pixel size of towards the downside. As you can see, this is at uh, left side only, and this is down by four thousand pixel size. Now, what we'll do? Let's keep this as thousand and keep it this vertical to zero. Vertical pixel size to zero. Now this time vertical should not be vertical scroll should not perform vertical is scrolling I would say the scroll down as you can see once again yeah now you can see it is at the uh, right side okay. So this is the usage of scrolling. So suppose we have uh, minimize it. So if we scroll to towards the right side, then we can see the contents of the right side of the page. Similarly, suppose we want to see the bottom of the page, then we have will use this scroll vertical scroll vertical scrolling, right? Now let's do one more thing. Uh, what is next? Scroll down by visibility of element. So already have closed one second. Let's say one second demo websites. I'll open one this page. Okay. Now let's say I want to scroll by the visibility of element. So let's say this one. Suppose I want this element. What is the ID of this element? Simple alert. So I'll copy this ID and uh, before that, driver dot find element by dot ID. Or uh, let's create a new separate class for the second example. So what is the second one? You scroll down by visibility of element. You scroll down by the of element. Okay. 
and here what I will do driver dot find element by dot ID and what is the ID of that element simple alert so simply I have to copy paste this one and let's store in web element we have to import this web element from org.openq.selenium and simply we have to call this execute script method and uh, it takes two arguments script and arguments as well this we have to pass the arguments as our element okay so simply copy this let's say In double quotes like this uh, semicolon not required I guess and we have to pass the element it should work now so this will scroll down by visibility of element so it should scroll like till here till the visible uh, till it gets visible it should scroll down okay so let's have a look what happened oh, we got some error no such element exception uh, what happened here web element driver dot find element by dot id simple alert Oh, I think okay we have to change the URL sorry guys uh, this that is this page right so we have to copy paste this URL and we have to change the URL to this URL we did not change the URL that's why we got the no such element exception that is fine let's rerun it again this time it will navigate to that URL that web page and it will scroll down by the visibility of that element so let's see yeah here you can see now this simple alert is visible okay so this is how you can scroll down by visibility of element and uh, let me just close all the other windows other browsers and uh, what is the next you scroll down by end of the page okay so simply what we'll do let's copy paste this one you scroll down by end of the page yeah and uh, no need of this what is the argument so we have to pass this parameter yeah now it should display at the end of the page it should scroll down at the end of the page so let's do that
here you can see at the end of the page it is scrolled at the end of the page so this is how you can perform a scrolling through selenium, selenium web driver generally we do not um, require to you know perform a scrolling using selenium web driver but uh, certain web pages needed to perform this action okay so this is how you can do that so we have seen three types uh, three ways to scroll through through scrolling okay scroll up and down scroll down by visibility visibility of element and scroll down by end of the page so in the next video i'm going to talk about uh, how to handle multiple windows in selenium webdriver thank you guys for watching have a nice day bye bye